Hi, and welcome to XR for Work. This is the show where we explore the immersive, virtual, mixed, and augmented platforms designed for business and professional use. My name is Rick, and I'm your guide here at XR for Work. Here at XR for Work, we've reviewed health and wellness apps in the past. We've taken a look at anatomy apps, as well as CPR, first aid. And today, we're continuing with looking at some apps that were recently released to Oculus App Lab that fall into this health and wellness category and designed, in fact, for healthcare workers. I really enjoy seeing these apps hit App Lab as it makes this content available to anyone with an interest or a need in the subject. And in this case, it's a pair of apps that were released by Insight VR, specific for nurse practitioners and nursing assistants. These apps walk the learner through a number of procedures that are high volume and in some case high risk that are common to those practitioners. This is taking the clinical lab setting and removing the barriers of location and distance, instructors and books from the ability um, of students and uh, uh, practitioners to practice processes. Now this doesn't replace the elements of the instructor or the classroom in the learning process, but allows a student or a, a current practitioner the chance to walk through uh, these specific procedures as many times as needed or desired to reinforce the steps involved. Now, we really want to thank you for being here and, and watching uh, our, our channel. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have some feedback for us and give us a follow here if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. And so with that, let's get started. Okay, so let's jump in and take a look at what kind of content Insight VR provides in their material. Now they provide what are called clinic immersives. And what do they mean by that? Well, it's a, for the nurse practitioner, it's a series of high risk, uh, very common procedures that a nurse practitioner may need to practice and definitely wanna keep their skills uh, up to date in. And you can see some of those here, it's putting in an arterial line, a central line, chest tubes. Now, if you're not, in healthcare, some of this may not mean a whole lot to you, but if you're in the hospital or a loved one's in the hospital, you want to know that whoever's working on you or, or having to perform one of these procedures uh, is well-practiced and kind of knows what they're doing, right? You want that level of expertise. So you can feel confident and safe that, again, these high-risk procedures are being done well. And then there's the medical assistant clinical skills, right? There are uh, tens of thousands of medical assistants across the country in hospitals and physician offices and clinics. Um, and they're the ones that are really frontline hands-on uh, and do a lot of the uh, kind of routine procedures, if you will, with patients when they first uh, come into an office or come into the hospital. And you can see that there are uh, over 30 procedures here that are covered by Insight VR in their medical assistant clinical skills uh, immersive trainings. And we're going to get to take a look and walk through completely one of those processes so you can see uh, the, how uh, Insight VR approaches this. Now, Insight VR breaks up their offerings into two tiers, right? There's an education edition, which is designed for educational organizations and um, uh, educational uh, practices that provides also a cloud-based tracking and logon system uh, that can be controlled by the uh, instructor or the school or an administrator and is designed to have students rotating through utilizing the platform. Um, then there's the professional edition. And this is the thing that you'll find out there on Oculus App Lab um, where anybody, a current practitioner or a student can go and download these and use however many times or whenever they want um, on their own device um, to reinforce again uh, these particular skill sets. And you can see that it's available for purchase through Oculus App Lab for uh, $150. Now this is the 
professional edition of the medical assistant clinical suite. And that's the one that I'm focusing here on today. Again, you do have the nurse practitioner suite, which is at another tier and another level. Now, this is all geared towards somebody who at, at some point wants to get credentialed through the American Association of Medical Assistants, um, where they can take an exam, uh, they can reinforce the skills that they're learning in this immersive study and um, utilize those skills and taking and passing this certification that they can use, uh, you know, for a career and for a job. So this kind of training uh, can become invaluable for somebody who's looking for a career as a medical assistant in healthcare. Now, I wanna start off with this uh, graphic, this picture, um, because this is the key interface, if you will, um, in the immersive environment for uh, uh, the student or the practitioner that's going through the training. Um, you have this board that's sitting up in front of you, and on the left-hand side, you have the set of objectives that they're walking you through. And on the right-hand side is kind of the narrative description of what it's describing um, is involved in that particular step. Now, there's uh, two uh, facets to this. One of them is, is just to reinforce uh, the, the knowledge that the student has. The other one is actually for them to practice a certain process as they're walking through this particular procedure. And so you'll see this board quite frequently as we're going through the procedure. So you've got the objectives and then the step-by-step -step or descriptive process on the right-hand side. And so I'm gonna start it up the video and I'm gonna talk through this process. This is actually performing a, a ECG, an electrocardiogram, something that a medical assistant might do in a hospital or a physician's office. And so we're going to boot up into Insight VR and you come into the lobby, if you will, or it's, it's kind of like a, a patient uh, care area. And you have this big analytics board here in front of you. Now, the analytics board keeps track of all the procedures that you've done, what mode you've gone through, how many attempts, how long it took you, so on and so forth. Um, and you get these, these scores to reinforce exactly how you did. All right, so we can kind of see what we've done. Then you have your tablet, which is how you interact and select uh, which lab you're going to do. Of course, you have a tutorial and some certain settings, but we're going to jump right into the labs. And here in the labs, you have several sections that you can pick from. And then within each section, we're going to go into the general procedures section. There are the actual lessons or the content there, right? So you can see that there's seven general procedures that you have to pick from here. Um, and we're going to pick uh, ECG, electrocardiogram, and it's gonna take us to that learning experience. Now, again, here on the tablet, we have three uh, choices after we've selected the procedure we're gonna go through. The, the guided one, which is more or less the step-by-step hand-holding um, of somebody doing this the first time. Then there's expert where they take away some of the explanation about what you're supposed to do and expect that you've gone through the guided enough that you uh, now kind of know the next step. And again, you're getting scored and you can get your time to see if you're improving on this. And then there's the exam portion and you get to go to the exam once. So the idea is that you're using the guided and the expert as many times as necessary to get to a level of mastery where you're ready for the exam. Okay, so we're going to go into guided so you can kind of see the most basic um, uh, walkthrough that they take you through. And then, of course, there's expert and then there's exam. You can select that right here on your tablet. And so let's go ahead and we're going to go into uh, guided. And we're going to walk through this process of performing an electrocardiogram on a patient like we might have to do at an office. And so it drops you into this appointed you know, uh, average room that might look like a bay and an ER or in a physician's office. And again, there's that board that we talked about here in front of you. And for each objective on the left side, you get the narrative description of what's expected on the right. And so, uh, you know, it, in the uh, items where it's just 
talking you through or giving you information, like in this first step, which is gather these supplies. You're not actually walking through that within uh, the immersive environment. This is kind of knowledge base. I'm reading this, understanding what all these pieces are, okay? And so once I feel like I've done that, oh, you got your, your tablets always kind of here that you can restart or go back to the lobby. Um, once I feel like I have all my equipment handy and I've kind of checked that off mentally, right? I can go over on and check off that I've done that. Now, automatically I'm taking to step two, review the order. Okay. So in this case, there's really not an order to review. Again, it's reinforcing a step to a, uh, a student um, or a practitioner that this would be the next step in the process. Okay, we can verify that and check it off here in, uh, in the app. And then we're taken to objective three. Okay, perform hand washing and don gloves. Um, there's really no gloves here. And again, this is where the uh, app sometimes, and you can see that now my hand has a glove on it. Call the patient into the room and introduce yourselves and uh, confirm who they are. All right, full name, date of birth. All right, and we're gonna do that. And now we're gonna start getting into some interactivity. We have our patient in front of us. Now we're being told, hey, explain to the pr patient the procedure. All right, and again, there's little interactivity at this point. You can see that one of the steps that we're coming up to here very soon has a to-do element towards it. And that's when we're going to start actually wow. utilizing the advantages of being in VR and start interacting. So we're saying, give the patient a gown to put on so we can pick up the gown and put it in the patient's hand. And once we do that, voila, he's in the gown, okay? Now we're gonna have the patient lie on the bed. And again, you've got the description in text over here that gives you kind of the detail, but we're gonna have to guide the patient over and he's in the bed. Now at this point, again, we're doing a verification. It's not something that we're expected to interact with, um, but it's really just giving the patient time to relax and get comfortable. Now it's gonna start getting interesting and we're going to start prepping the patient to put the ECG leads on. So we expose the patient and now we're going to start cleansing the site and putting on the uh, actual leads and clips. And so now we, we have the prep pad that we're gonna use and we get guided a bit here as to where we're gonna prep. So you can see these little white dots. This is where the leads are gonna go. And so it's kind of important to remember these landmarks when we come back because we'll be putting the leads and the clips on. And you know, what's important with all of this, I think is as you watch what's going on here is that the person who's involved in this is actually gaining muscle memory. They're not just reading out of the book, or they're not just watching a PowerPoint or a video. They're actually, you know, mentally leaning over and physically grabbing that lead and placing it in a specific location or landmark on a patient. And they're repeating that process over and over and over again. You know, there is this uh, theory or a discussion about Malcolm Gladwell's comment in one of his books that to become an expert at any particular thing, it requires 10,000 hours of practice. And, uh, you know, that's five years of full-time employment before somebody can be considered expert at something. And so it it's, goes without saying that we just don't get the opportunity that we need to, to practice these kinds of processes enough to become expert before sometimes we're actually thrown in to actually accomplish it. And so we'll go through this and um, I might try to jump us ahead a little bit. You kind of get the idea here, right?
So we'll put the leads on, we put the clips on, and it walks us through that entire process. Now, the difference, and, and I wanted to kind of call this up here, is that we're going to now going to go in and we'll jump into expert mode so that we can kind of get a sense of what's different there. So again, we'll go into the lab, we'll pick general procedures, we'll pick ECG, and um, we'll pick expert mode, right? So we're all familiar with this already. We can pick general procedures. And ECG. And again, this time we're picking expert mode. Now, again, the big difference that we'll see as we go through with expert mode is that we don't get the descriptive elements once we are getting to the to-do. That is not what I was looking for. Let's try this again. Let's make sure, there we go. Now we're picking expert mode. All right, now again, on these um, items that are really just asking to be verified. We're going to go through these uh, much more quickly um, because we've practiced it now. We've read it. We kind of understand these processes, right? I expect that the gloves are going to pop on, you know, our patient's going to be there in front of us. But when we get to these to-do processes, we'll notice that the descriptive panel will disappear. And again, it's because we've gone through the guided enough or we've determined that we've practiced enough that we don't need our hands held as we're doing these procedures. And so, and as we go through it again, we're not getting our hand held as we're doing this. So now in expert mode, we're expected to understand what our steps are, right? That what the dots are for, how we use them, right? Now we have to put on the leads. And again, we're not being kind of described or uh, guided as much. And you can see here, I didn't quite hit the right spot to put that lead on. So it rejected it. So again, this level of expertise is, is assumed by the time you get to this stage. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump ahead. And when you get to the point where you're taking the exam, you get to take the exam once and you have to go through all the content in order to get to the certificate of completion for the entire course. And again, it's all geared towards preparing someone for this associate, uh, American Association of Medical Assistance exam. All right, and that's uh, content for today. And we really appreciate for you visiting us. Again, um, if you like this kind of content, please give us a thumbs up. Think about joining uh, the community over at uh, Facebook, and we'll see you in the metaverse. Bye now.